my my two greatest allies in the gay movement were Barbara Giddings and Kay Tobin Lahusen. Barbara Giddings died in 2007, and I filmed her. They had it in the big, what is it called over there in Philadelphia? Congressional Hall or something. And Kay is still alive. She not not too well, living in a Quaker nursing home outside Philadelphia. I co-wrote a book, didn't go right. I signed my name because they wanted, they had the idea of a male and female author. I only wrote one paragraph, but Gay Crusaders was Kay Tobin Mahusen's book. And Partners in Life, Married in Our Hearts, because Barbara Giddings died because they couldn't get legally married, but they were together, I don't know, 40 or 50 years. They were together for years. I began, they began the latter in 1961, so we're talking about 49 and, 49 and 7, well, no, 39 and 7. We're talking about nearly 50 years of life together. And then on top, it says, Gay Pioneers, that's one of me, who spoke the truth to power. Gay is good. That's so conservative, but, you know, that was Frank Hammond is saying. Interesting, they're down here. Kay designed this. I turned her on to the idea. See, what they do is you buy two grave sites and you can build a bench. So, I want to, I'm going to sit on this bench, just keep it running. Just sitting on this bench. And say, that in the early days of the movement, they, said, they argued that males and females couldn't get along. Many women became feminists, but Barbara Giddings said, we are homosexuals first and male or female second. And the activists in D.C. remember how Barbara Giddings was the voice that kept a split between the female. There were women that stayed with the gay movement, so-called, or the LGBT movement, and there were other women that went on the Strictly with feminism and women's rights. And uh, Kayla Houston tells me I should get over all this trans stuff. <laughs> I'm wasting my time with all this trans stuff. But Kayla Houston worked night and day. They put out the ladder. And once coming back from New York, they had a Volkswagen. And they had hundreds of copies of the ladder, which was the size of a magazine. And the Volkswagen turned over. such a conservative time. It was like, <laughs> let me push, actually. I had some pornography, gay pornography, and then a telephone book. I forget how it happened, but I was carrying it down the street, 28th Street and 7th Avenue, and suddenly all of these pictures, <laughs> it wasn't, they weren't even mine. It was a summer rental or something. But anyway, maybe I didn't know they were in there, but they weren't my photos. I remember I was carrying this, and all of a sudden there was this display of gay pornography on the street in broad daylight. I don't remember whether anyone was there. I just remember the horror of having all this stuff that had slipped out of a book. I, I, I was only, that was, that must have been, oh wow, that was 1957 or 56? Yeah, 56 or 57, you know, and, uh, Anyway, that's so just a funny story, but that story is way... I shouldn't compare that story, which is kind of ugly, to, to the story which I thought was the over. Kate would never appear on TV. My great appearance in Pittsburgh, that everyone raised about 1972 gay activists. <coughs> I was appearing because I wrote the book contract. She said, I'll write the book, but you have to do all the media because they knew that I was a good talker. <clears throat> they went with me and called me the first person to challenge the thing that, that gayness was a mental illness. Some psychiatrists have written a book, eight sessions I can cure any homosexual. 
So we leafleted at Cooper Union in New York City and demanded 15 minutes of rebuttal time. And I, when they got through, they gave it me 15 minutes of rebuttal time. And I said, if you are running a practice to help people that have problems, problems of being homosexual, who don't want to be homosexual, who feel like they're mentally, that they're sinning, they're sinners because they're homosexuals, you're dealing with people that are mentally ill to begin with. You have missed the great majority of homosexuals who are living happy, productive lives that you never see. Plus, you can't change sexual orientation. Yeah, you can teach somebody. They, Kinsey and Pomeroy would talk to so-called cured homosexuals, and they were married to women, they had children, they were sticking to their heterosexual lifestyle, and they would ask them, well, what do you think about when you masturbate? What they'd say is, well, I think about men. But, you know, I'm married now, I don't do that. It was obvious to Pomeroy and Kinsey if you read the books that those men were actually homosexual, that just forced themselves into the role playing of, of heterosexuals. So anyway, there's a lot of history. I joined the movement in 58. Barbara Giddings, I think, I think that I was a year or two before them, but I know that I was the first male on the cover of the ladder because they had me sitting on the back page, the back cover, not the front cover, saying, not all subscribers to the ladder are women. This is Randy Wicker, gay activist from New York City. And that must have been around 61 or 62. So the ladder at that point maybe was two or three years old. So that really, Barbara getting to K, Barbara spent her life at the National Library Association because as a young woman, she knew she was gay, and she went to the library, and all she found were what she called the lies in the library. So she became active in the National Librarian Association. They had a kissing booth. They had a kissing booth of the National Librarian Association where same-sex couples, maybe it was Kay and Barbara, kissed which became a big sensation because they were arguing that the libraries were not presenting a balanced view of homosexuals, all these books about them being mentally ill and everything. And Barbara probably, in a, in a way that people will never understand or appreciate, Barbara Giddings was one of the great, not just gay pioneers, one of the great human pioneers because she was a champion of truth and a way to put out books about homosexuals as they really great service, and I really am honored to sit here. Now, stop the video at this point. Stop the video. Stop it. I said stop.